do you get the capital to, to start that business? Well, first of all, if you're starting a business and you take out a loan, you're a moron. Right? Because you're, it, there's so many uncertainties involved with starting a business, uh -huh. yet the one certainty that you'll have to have is paying back your loan. And the bank doesn't care about your business or whoever you borrow from unless it's family doesn't care about your business. You know, and so it's just a, a complete conflict. So have you ever wondered how people are buying houses without the bank? Or have you ever wondered what is the situation people get thrown into where they can't buy a house due to not being able to qualify for a bank? We'll discuss what you can do in this video in real estate without using the bank. Let's get it. What's up everybody? It's your old Uncle Mont in the building with another Life Games Financial video where we help you capitalize on capitalism. And we're talking about one of my favorite investments again, that's real estate. How you can get into some real estate without a bank. But first, I gotta put on the plus seven glasses of sexy as hell because I'm working on skilling up my craft, giving y'all a better YouTube experience and definitely something better to look at. Go to shoplifegains.com. I'm one of the only places that has gear for real estate investors that you can wear to show people what you're doing. There's some other stuff in there. I want you to check that out and check my video description link. My wife is starting to do videos. She's a hypertension specialist and nephrologist at Duke. Check it out. So you might be saying, what is the situation where people can't go to a bank and get a loan? There are a few situations. Of course, you know, if your credit is bad, if you don't have income, but there's a situation where people who have a decent job, good credit, but they own too much real estate. They own multiple real estates and the banks is looking at them like, nah, we're not gonna mess with you. And so what are these people doing? There are a couple of ways you can get money. Probably the most impactful one or the one that's the biggest is going and getting private money. Ladies and gentlemen, there are tons of people out there who are filthy rich and can't put their money in anything else to get higher returns on their money. They're maxed out in their 401ks, they're maxed out in their Ross, and they wanna get a higher percentage on their return. And so you can go to these individuals, um, I call them angel investors, they're all over the place where they're looking to make more return on their money than what they can get in the stock market. So they're looking for double digit returns. And if you as an investor have a deal on the table that can get you 20%, 22%, or even 18%, and you get a loan for them that's like 10%, you're still making 8% on your money. So that would probably be the number one place I would say go to. And I'll leave links so that you can find some of these investors. And I would say don't be afraid to talk to them. You know, a lot of people are afraid to go ask somebody for some money. Don't base your theory on you. Base your theory of making the deal with these angel investors on the deal. You know, if you can show them a legitimate deal that is put on the table, they will invest their money as long as you can explain it to them properly. Another way people get into property without the bank is seller financing. So you find someone who has a property and they're trying to sell it. And you know, you can't get the bank to do it. Ask them would they do it, seller finance. A lot of people don't know that this is an option that they can do where in essence, you're just going to be paying them money to own the property with a little percentage you might add in there to help them out. And here's the beauty of seller financing. If you're late, you miss payments, they already own the property, they can throw you out, they still have the asset. It's just that simple. And that's another way people have been getting into real estate without using the bank. And another way people get properties um, that probably is on my list more so if you're planning to flip the property is with hard money. Hard money are lenders that are gonna charge you a higher percentage, they're gonna charge you points, so let's just say um, if you find the property that you want to fix and flip and it's, let's say, um, $200,000, they might charge you 3%, um, which would be their pointed points on that loan. And that is a good option for someone who is going to fix it and flip it because these are not long-term loans. These are short-term, usually 12 to 24 month loans. And then you have to go get bank financing or private money to satisfy the loan. But these are good, that's a good option for you if you find that type of property. Um, another way that you can do it is borrowing against your retirement if you see that this property has the potential to make more than what you're earning in your retirement. 
Typically, people in their retirement accounts are earning anywhere between 9 to 11%. Yes, it's a risk. It's definitely a risk. But it can be a rewarding risk if you don't want to use any of the other forms I just mentioned to acquire these different properties. Ladies and gentlemen, those are all the tips and all the things I have seen in real estate to help you get into a property and buy real estate without using the bank. I hope this was helpful. And if it was, please subscribe to this channel. Um, comment, let me know what you've done. How are you investing your money? And share my message because people have said, I can't grow this channel doing so many different things on this channel. And I want to prove that we can grow and we can help people out there make great investments and increase the power of their wallet. That's going to do it for this video. Don't forget to like my video, comment and subscribe. Go get yourself that life gain. Capitalize on capitalism. Go over to shoplifegains.com. Check out my real estate gear. Go grab yourself a little bit of that. And until that next sex is hell video, I'll see you.